the research that you and I are about to delve into could be possibly one of the most dramatic, I should say, outcomes in reference to age-related slowing, i.e. or reversal of certain biomarkers in a very short period of time by taking a combination, nothing complex, of glycine and N-acetylcysteine. In this case, you'd often think the title is big, would say it all, but even then, the outcome is even more, or should say totally eclipses, even this title here. But I'm gonna redo it real fast. We have a lot of ground to cover. I'd like to go into a lot more detail, uh, but however though, it is such a comprehensive study, I'd much rather you follow a link into the full study itself, which is published for you to delve into at your whim. But let us begin as follows. Glycine and acetylcysteine, glycine supplementation in older adults improves glutathione deficiency, oxidative distress, mitochondrial dysfunction, inflammation, insulin resistance, endothelial dysfunction, genotoxicity, muscle strength, and cognition results of a pilot clinical trial. And they do have larger trials in progress right now, which are more stringent as far as being double blind cross obesity. that's how powerful the outcome is in reference to this research here. First, what you and I are going to do, we are going to look at the public release. And then we are going to go uh, sidestep into the full study itself so I can lead you into it and you could basically begin to weed through the information as they present it in more detail. But to proceed as follows, Glynac, glycine and acetylcysteine, improves multiple defects in aging to boost strength and cognition in older humans. An understatement. Quoting, we work with eight older adults, 70 to 80 years of age. Again, they're doing larger groups, larger studies. Com now, comparing them with gender matched younger adults between 21 and 30 years old, according to the researcher. We measured glutathione and red blood cells, mitochondrial fuel oxidation, plasma biomarkers of oxidative stress, antioxidant damage, inflammation, endothelial function, glucose and insulin, gait speed, muscle strength, exercise capacity, cognitive test, gene damage, glucose production, and muscle protein breakdown rates, and body composition. The four taken the glycine and acetylcysteine combination. All these measurements were abnormal in older adults when compared with those in younger people. The older participants took Glynac for 24 weeks and stopped it for 12 weeks, quoting, at the halfway point of 12 weeks, after 24 weeks of taking Glynac, and again after stopping Glynac for 12 weeks. The outcome, and I mean the outcome, is just astounding. But to proceed, quoting, we were very excited by the results. After taking Glynac for 24 weeks, which is a relatively short period of time, all, to reiterate, all these defects in older adults improved and, to emphasize, some reversed to levels found in young adults. After 24 weeks in individuals 70 to 80 years of age, doing nothing more than taking a glycine and acetylcysteine supplement, some reversed to levels seen in younger adults. Quote, the research has also determined that older adults tolerated Glynac well for 24 weeks, which we're going to go into in a second. The benefits, however, declined to the stopping Glynac supplementation for 12 weeks. Always. This is the amount they were given. I refer you translate the dosaging with your medical professional, but uh, let's go through it. And this is from the full study itself. OA, standing for older adults, were provided capsules of glycine at 1.33 millimoles kilogram a day and cysteine 0.81 millimoles a kilogram a day provided as an acetylcysteine, hence Glynac, prepared by a licensed pharmacist and replenished every four weeks for 24 weeks. Compliance with Glynac supplementation was assessed with phone calls and capsule counting every four weeks. When older adults returned to collect Glynac capsules for the next four weeks, they had blood drawn for monitoring for re renal creatinine and liver function as ALT and AST. Results, as far as any particular side effects or adverse outcomes or adverse events, AE here. Score was zero, as in none. And there were no AEs reported. Monitoring plasma creatinine, alanine transaminase, and aspirate transaminase, or aminase, every four weeks did not show any elevations or abnormalities. And these are individuals 70 to 80 years of age. The hypothesis, or I should say conjecture or hypothesis as to why this had such an incredible, incredible, astounding, a positive outcome. 
Again, a lot of research still to delve through. And again, even the research themselves were astounded by the results. But to proceed, they have a hypothesis called the power of three. Here we go. However, correction of basically the GSH alone is insufficient to explain the magnitude and extent of improvements, suggesting there may be other factors in play. Glynac contains glycine, an important methyl group donor. Methyl groups are abundant in DNA and are important components of multiple cellular reactions. Glycine is also important for normal brain function, hence providing glycine could improve multiple defects as seen in this trial. Glynac contains N-acetylcysteine, which functions as a cysteine donor. Cysteine is critically important in energy metabolism by controlling the basically sulfhydryl uh, SH group needed for energy generation. For example, coenzyme A is an important component of reactions governing energy generation depends on the availability of that sulfhydryl or SH group for its normal functioning. Cysteine and its donated SH groups also play key roles in multiple additional cellular reactions and cellular reactions and functions. Thus, it can be seen that the combination of glycine, cysteine, and GSH could be acting in combination to result in this powerful improvement, recovery, and correction of multiple abnormalities and defects as seen in the trial in older humans and results in increased strength, improved cognition. This could explain why Glynac supplementation works to promote healthy aging. And in some of these cases, reverse levels to that of younger adults. And so that is an incredible, incredible outcome in reference to doing something which is fairly common supplements, glycine and endocetylcysteine in the dosaging, which is right there. Now the DOI citation will be there for you to follow links into the full study to basically review if you're not already a medical professional yourself or a data analyst uh, to go into it and actually look at it. They are conducting larger trials now, so that's very, very promising. But wow, it is just, when you look at that title again, what was the title? It was basically glycine and cysteine supplementation older adults improves glutathione deficiency, oxidative stress, mitochondrial dysfunction, inflammation, insulin resistance, endothelial dysfunction, genotoxicity, muscle strength, and cognition in 24 weeks. That is just astounding. Again, the links will be there for you to follow. The dosaging is there. Work with your medical professional, if you're not a medical professional already, to basically uh, translate into what may be appropriate for you, but still just the same, very inexpensive supplements with just an incredibly invaluable outcome. And also too, just to mind, to close it off, those who want to visit us for a data analytics on Saturday, this, uh, this weekend, well, last weekend, I said, we covered the false positive rates of the antigen test in reference to asymptomatic individuals. Again, I'm probably talking to medical professionals. And the 72% false positive rate in reference to the uh, those testing positive on the antigen test is asymptomatic. We ran a geometric distribution, uh, which we did a cumulative density function. So we could determine the number of tests that would be required in order to represent a certain percentage of, of before you turn a positive. Uh, false positive, I should say. This week, we are going to cover a subject quite dear to me myself in reference to exercise utility and probably the improper use of certain facial coverings. I'm not going to read through it, but here is a study here. And basically, here is an excerpt from the study itself, which it's quite enlightening to weigh the sudden death uh, may have resulted in certain individuals. It's not what you may think, but however, though, it involves something called lactic acid, then it creates other issues that basically are not as um, favorable. But we'll cover that hopefully this Sunday morning about 2 a.m., 3 a.m. as usual. But again, gratitude. Thank you. I look forward to you all once again very soon, if not this Saturday or Sunday, then next Tuesday. And I hope you find this information of use. It is just something that's tangible. It's there. It can be incorporated fairly readily and yield tremendous benefit on a multiple, multiple scale for you personally. Again, gratitude. Thank you. And I'll see you all soon. Catch you next time. Bye.